All right, you guys, so I promised a video two or three days ago now. Sorry, never posted, got onto a fire, got super busy, blah, blah. Didn't have a chance to post or make a video, whatever. So what I'm gonna start out with is the tie rods. I got the D-Max store tie rods and this is nothing they did wrong, it's everything I did wrong. So this truck has a Fabtech lift on it. With the Fabtech lift, they change the knuckles on the uh, outer side towards the wheel where the uh, tie rod goes into. So this is what it looks like right Here's the tie rod. You see where it kind of goes in right there? Not the best lighting, but so where that goes in is different than stock. So these Duramax or D-Max store tie rods are an OEM replacement. So it's got a tapered end on it. Whereas the knuckles on the truck aren't tapered. So the truck takes either a Fabtech only tie rod or a Heim joint, Heim joint conversion for the tie rod. So that's how I messed up. Now I thought, all right, drove the truck a total of like 20 miles when I uh, put the new tie rods on. I'll be able to uh, take them off and uh, you know, return them. Well, it's the only time that I didn't do the work on the truck myself. Let a buddy do it. I was working on uh, for the department, couldn't get to it, so he did it. I, I, I would like to say that if I had put them on, I would have noticed that they didn't fit correctly. But he didn't notice, so he just cranked them down as tight as he could, and in doing so, busted the rubber boot on this end. You can actually see it right there. It's, I'll bust it up. So, you now I thought about replacing them. Couldn't get them off. Could not. I, I tried everything. Like, ah, here right now, trying to pull it off. Cannot get those boots off in order to replace them. So, I'm gonna try and figure something out. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I find some kind of replacement boot for it, so that I can sell them or return them, whichever one works better. So that's that uh right now i've got the truck and you can see i'm gonna do the uh, mdd performance um oil filter conversion kit and uh i'll let you know how that goes i'll show you how to do it and uh we'll go from all right there. starting off here open it up got the mdp tape on here nice touch i don't know i'm, I'm just in like the little the little things that make everything look nice and Mark is the king of the little touches that make things just look perfect. All right. So, oil filter. Here you go. 1R 1807. All right. Obviously, that's going to come in the kit. So, we're going to set that. Boom. Right there. All right. Special tool. All right. Spins. You can use it as a fidget spinner if you're bored. Whatever. Special tool. Boom. There you go. New new uh, nipple. That's going to replace the one that's already on the truck for the uh, stock filter. And uh, it'll go to that filter. So, boom. Got it. All right, so that's pretty much all you need. All right, I mean, you need a couple tools, whatever, right? So, you can go ahead here. Step one, remove the existing filter. Wow, imagine that. Two, 2011 and up trucks using 15 16 excuse me, deep socket, remove the factory oil filter nipple. All right, so that's 2011 up. Well, this is a 2007 LBZ, right? 01 to 10, using the supplied half inch internal pipe wrench, which is gonna be that little special tool that I just showed you guys. Remove the factory oil filter nipple. You may need to rotate and push the wrench until it slides into the nipple using a 17 millimeter wrench. Rotate the pipe wrench counterclockwise to remove the factory nipple. I got pictures and everything for you. Look at that. All right. Make sure the, f the factory filter housing and MDDP filter nipple is clean and ready for installation. Using a 15 16 socket, install the adapter and torque to 20 foot pounds. Run oil around the gasket of the new cat. All right, so the simple, just put your freaking filter on there now. So, 
Go ahead and get that done. There's instructions. I think that's cool. And uh, I know all you guys don't know, but there was a little issue with uh, shipping. And absolutely not Mark's fault. He did everything to get to me. He talked to me, messaged me, did everything. Hey, look, reflection. Oh, hey there. Yeah, he did everything he could to get this thing out to me, right? So besides messaging me personally, wrote this out himself, right? Thank you for your business. If you have any questions, email me personally. Or direct message me on Instagram. I hope you earn business again in the near future. I hope to earn your business again in the near future. Like, writing looks exactly like mine. See, so, like I said, it's the little touches that Mark does that makes me want to use this stuff every time. And I've seen people, you know, on Instagram, whatever, you know, hey, this could be better. Like, you know, and he doesn't get mad about it. He's like, you know what, thank you for that. So, I look up to this guy, and I'm excited to get this on the table. So, up here, see, come on, focus. There we go. Got the filter off. I'm going to work on taking that nipple off. All thing I don't like is I cannot keep from getting it on my freaking track bars and everything. Like, <sighs> whatever. It'll be okay. okay. Oh, I got it on my freaking drive line. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. Oh, well. It wipes off. So, it's off. And we're going to get the nipple out, put the new one in. Alright, so my first recommendation in doing this, wait until oil's cooled off. I literally just ran the truck, but I'm not the smartest person ever. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and get that. There you go, like so. It's all the way in there now. You can twist it, okay? So we also had to twist a little bit to get it in there because that piece that swivels. So now we're gonna take our 17 mil. We're gonna go ahead get this sucker on here. Oh dang it! See, so now the oil is dripping on me. Super freaking hot. Oh, look at that. Not even that much pressure. And she's already loose. I can probably actually get that by hand already. Let's try. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, oil everywhere. Nice and hot on my hands. Heck yeah, I love it. I good thing I'm used to hot stuff. Okay, that's a lot longer than I anticipated. All right, boom, look at that. Now, that's out. That's an empty hole now. So now, we can go ahead and put this one in. So, literally, just put it in. Let's see here, it's difficult with one hand. There we go. And so it was a 17 mil for the fitting. Take that nipple out. And it is a 15 16 socket to put that in and then torque it to uh, 20 foot pounds. All right, so I've got the, uh, where is it? Wrench on there. All right, and then just there you go. She's torqued down to 20 foot right, pounds. So, you're gonna take a little bit of oil and we're gonna put it on the uh, ring here, on the rubber. And this is not just for this, but really for any application that you do. It's a good habit to get into on any oil filter. Let's go ahead and put some oil on that before you put it on. I'll wipe my hands off. All right, and then, just for the quality, I'm trying to do this one-handed, so. Um, go ahead and get your filter up in here. And screw it on. And it should go on pretty easily. It does fit in there nicely. If I can get the thread, that would be nice. That would make me happy. I think I got it. Boom. Just threading it on there. Alright, so 
So I'm gonna go ahead and tighten that down. Now with this filter, um, it is an extra quart of oil, and I believe that comes out to 11 quarts total for this motor. So just keep that in mind, you put this filter on, you are gonna need one extra quart of oil. So I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this down, get that extra quart in here, and uh, fire it up, and see how it goes. Noble Delvac 1540 13R Super in my Duramax and I had heard from Mark as well as other people that it gets rid of that little tick and uh, well it makes it quieter and uh, I, I didn't believe it but I put this on no joke actually made a difference in the sound of this motor and just surprised the heck out of me so Noble Delvac 13R Super 1540 Truth let's get in it Try not to touch anything except for the key. It's super dirty. Oop, I missed. There we go. Fire right up. Heck yeah. Means I didn't mess up too bad. <laughs> 